Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Shitanshi. So for today's video, I decided to finally show you guys what my notion looks like. I know a lot of you guys have been asking for this video and I'm so sorry it took a lot of time but I wasn't really finding any time to set my notion up properly and that's the reason this video took a lot of time but we're here finally so don't worry. Okay so for those of you who do not know what notion is let me brief you guys real quick. So notion is basically a software that you use to plan and schedule and organize all of your things. Basically helps me personally stay really organized and that's the reason I've been using it a lot for the past year. No this video isn't sponsored even though I hope it was. So don't worry all of my feedback and all of my thoughts are really genuine. Okay now that we've got that out of the way uh, before we start I wanted to mention that it is completely fine if you don't spend five hours on setting up your notion and making it look aesthetic because that is not the point of using your notion it is basically to make you a more practical person and a more organized person so please don't waste your time in making your notion board aesthetic if you don't want to nobody's forcing you to and yeah this is just like a small thing i wanted to mention because i've seen a lot of people wasting a lot of time in just making their board look pretty and then changing it every week so yeah I hope my video helps you in any way and I'm really excited to show off and brag about my notion board to be very honest so let's move on without any further ado <laughs> This is how my dashboard looks. I am really proud of the setup and it actually did not take me a lot of time. So the first thing you see is this cover which I actually got from Pinterest. Everything I have on this page like the images are from Pinterest. So like the first layer of my notion is basically the personal space I have and then I have education on the other side. So actually uh, we'll go into the sub pages later but let me just brief you guys through what I have on here. So firstly I have like my exams and all of that which I don't want to really open because that's pretty personal for me. Then I have like my schoolwork which will be including like my assignments, my assessments, my tests and all of that. Then I have like my future plans and what I'm planning to do right now and just you know putting down links whatever research I'm doing and then this last page is actually for a club I have to do in school. On the other hand we have my personal uh, category. So under personal I have creativity entertainment fitness and then my timetable which is like my school timetable so under creativity i actually have my content creation content creation makes my work sound so fancy and then i have like my novel which i'm writing then i have entertainment under entertainment i have like my reading list and then my recipes so these two lists are like pretty bland. I've not been filling them for the past month. Then I have my fitness area. Okay, now this big thing distracting us in the middle. Let's talk about it. Now this is actually my daily tracker. And to be very honest with you, sometimes it is difficult to track down whatever I'm doing every day. But um, even, you know, if I do it like weekly, it still helps me a lot because I understand my weekly progress. Currently... Never mind. Uh, yeah, so beneath that I actually have this currently section which is like currently reading, then currently watching and then currently listening. So uh, like for currently reading, I have Children of Blood and Bone which you may be seeing there. I don't think you can see it. But yeah, I'm currently reading Children of Blood and Bone. I don't really want to rant but there are a few characters I think you can guess that I am very frustrated about and it is a good book because of course that's the reason I'm frustrated because it has me emotionally invested into things that are fictional. Then for listening I have Planet Her and Happier Than Ever. Planet Her is like one of my favorite albums of this year and you cannot prove me wrong. Beside that I have my habit tracker and beside that I have like one of my playlists which I don't actually play from here I've just kept it because I don't know I just wanted to fill that place out and then I have this quick guide session which is like for my weekly agenda then I have like my calendar here and then vocab because I put in like word of the day vocab every week even though my dashboard was really pretty I tend to keep like my sub pages very plain and bland because I don't really have the time to you know make it aesthetic Now when we come here, we have the edit check-in. So 
after every video what i do is once i'm done with my editing i go through this entire checkbox and make sure that i have gone through all of them yeah or most of them whatever is required for the video it depends from video to video of course and then i have my filming and posting schedule so for my reading list i have this table now uh, i have different categories here you may be wondering how i list all of these books down i have a confession to make i actually love booktubers if you have good taste you're probably already watching jack edwards and then you have with cindy she's also pretty great so my weekly agenda is pretty much uh, this is what it looks like and then i have my monthly agenda and then i have this check up again so basically this month did i finish my assignments write my novel read books eat healthy just some of the aims i plan to do like monthly at least once and yeah they're included here now i have this embedded link from merriam webster dictionary which has like word of the day things that they have so whenever i come to this page i have like the word of the day specifically for that day and then i just write it down here in this table i have okay that was pretty much it for my notion setup and how it looks like and you must have realized it isn't really that tacky if i can use that word here but um, i'm pretty satisfied with how it looks because my dashboard actually is like the main attraction and i just want my notion page to be very practical and it actually serves my purpose so i'm happy but uh, before i end the video i wanted to talk about some fun widgets you could add to your uh, notion and how you can elevate your notion pages so let's dive into that section of the video Okay so there's this extension known as indify.co which is a website i will link it down in the description box it actually helps you add really fun widgets you can add your calendars you can add some countdowns you have like really fun widgets so i would definitely recommend you guys exploring that okay so all you need to do to add your indify widgets onto your notion page is press the slash button if you are using notion you know that you have to like press the forward uh, slash button to like add any of the features so uh, basically press on that and then go to the embed option and once you go to the embed option just copy the uh, url link that they have for the widget and you'll have your widget there on your notion page it's really easy very practical and you can use it on your notion pages to just elevate your notion pages if you want and again just reminding you guys that you should always prefer being practical over making your pages beautiful and i hope this video helped you guys a little bit or even like my uh, layout my notion layout help you guys a little bit in designing your notion pages and yeah that's basically it for the video i'll see you in my next video until then bye